So it is Memorial Day weekend, the official kickoff the summer, which means two things. One, I hope you take just a moment to recognize the people that have given their lives for our country. Um, some of the most unselfish and bravest human beings that we may never have met. Um, but it's important that we recognize them. The other thing that we want to do is play some golf. And we have decided to come to Eagle Ridge Resort in Galena, Illinois, about three hours northwest of Chicago and do just that. But Eagle Ridge offers much more than golf. So we've brought our wives and they're dog friendly. So we're able to bring our dogs and we just wanted to say thank you to our wives for putting up for, you know, all of the golfing nonsense that Josh and I um, kind of put them through. You know, we go on long trips to play golf. We're gone every Saturday or every Sunday during this golf season. So we'd really like to actually do both as often as possible. So we thought, what better way, come kick off the summer at a resort like Eagle Ridge, play two rounds of golf over the weekend. The girls are gonna get pampered with massages and nails, manis and petties. Um, the dogs get to hang out with us so they're not at a kennel or a dog sitter. So it's kind of the best of all worlds. Um, so we're gonna play some golf. The girls are gonna get pampered and we're gonna check out the town of Galena. So. Come on with. Welcome to the General, the kind of crown jewel of Eagle Ridge uh, Resort. The General's named after Ulysses S. Grant, which is the adopted son of Galena. We'll get to him a little bit later. Um, but this course features 250 feet of elevation change. You can see coming off of one here. Uh, it's pretty dramatic just to start. Um, and uh, yeah, so the girls are out getting pampered at the spa. So they're taken care of. Josh and I here are going to play a little match play today and uh, we're getting ready for our Arizona trip in July. We're, gonna, we're playing in a match play tournament there. So um, yeah, off we go. Let's play some golf. Through three, all square. Josh won the first hole, we pushed the second. I just kept one on up and down par for the uh, first part three we played. Lots of undulation. Uh, 
The uh, sun's trying to come out, so it's getting a little warmer, which is nice. And uh, we're here at the uh, fourth hole. It's a pretty short par four. It goes around the bend here. A little, you can cut this corner. I'm gonna try to put it about 220. Leave me 120 to the hole or so. Let's go. We are on eight. Riv is up three. I've given two away with my poor putting performance. Poor putting performance. Uh, but man, what a great golf course. Sun's out, wind's picked up a little bit, but the views are incredible. Uh, looking forward to coming up on this one here. This, this uh, par four, it's got some great rock features, uh, kind of, you know, aligning the, the green. So yeah, this is fun. This is 11. Check out 11. Quite the uh, drop down there. I gotta tell you too, this, uh, I've never done one of these like kick off the summer Memorial Day weekend kind of trips. And this is the way to do it. I mean, you know, the girls are at the resort hanging out. Um, you know, they're getting their nails did or whatever they're doing. We're out here playing golf. Um, just. Eagle Ridge is just fantastic. And, uh, you know, we got in last night into Galena and uh, first time here, and the town is just awesome. The downtown is great. It's like stepping back, way back into time. Um, they've done a great job kind of really uh, kind of restoring Main Street. It's super cool. So, uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this whole, let's kick off summer with a trip. I'm gonna go and hit the shot now. Give me a point back. Okay. Uh, this is the 14th hole here at the General, and it's their, it's their signature hole. Um, I, I guess it'll give you an idea why, just looking at it. Uh, you're gonna, this is a par four. So you're gonna hit, we're gonna hit down into this gully and kind of, it's, you wanna talk, talk about a blind tee shot. This is pretty much the definition of it. So uh, yeah, it goes nothing. a wrap 18 on the general hard course fun course challenging course the uh the change in elevations are fun it's a different type of uh strategy that you have to put into play but uh really good time the weather came out which i appreciate it for the amount of water that this course has gotten i mean illinois has been drowned lately um it's playing really well it's in great shape so 
Uh, as for the match play, Josh smoked me, five and four. I think I won one hole. Quite embarrassing, but we're gonna rematch. We get to play again tomorrow. So, uh, get my revenge. Final day at Eagle Ridge. We're gonna be sad to go. Um, but we get to finish it off with the North Course, which I've heard great things about. Um, all my uh, golf course uh, junkies have told me that this one's actually more fun to play and better, more entertaining, better, better to play than the general. So looking forward to it. And uh, I'm also going to be wearing these today, at least for a little while. Um, these are a pair of sunglasses um, by a company called Solar Bat. And it's kind of a, it, it, it messes with the, uh, the color and the kind of crispness of your view. So they tell me. Um, we'll do, I'll do a full review on these, um, proper review on these once I've tested them a little bit more. But um, apparently they will help you make, uh, help you read greens and see the grain of the grass and um, just kind of really accentuate. So I can tell you right now, like everything is much greener and much crisper with these wearing them on. And so initial thoughts are they're comfortable. I don't know how they look, you tell me, but uh, we're gonna give them a go and play some golf. And uh, are we doing the match play again? Are we doing a rematch? All right, rematch. McEwen's Revenge. Let's go. So, uh, what is it? Josh is up one uh, after two. The irony is when I put these sunglasses, I'm not used to playing with sunglasses on. And so I was wearing them on the first hole. But then when I got to the green, I took them off because I'm not used to wearing sunglasses. So uh, testing is still in progress. <laughs> Step one is getting used to wearing sunglasses all the time. So uh, we walk up to the uh, green on the long par five fifth here. Thought we'd take a minute to talk about Galena because we went down there last night and it's great. I mean, it's got something for everybody. So we were down there obviously as couples having dinner. Uh, we had an amazing meal. What was the place called we ate at? Log Cabin. Log Cabin. This Mediterranean style steakhouse. Unbelievable, so good. And uh, not that I'm a foodie or anything, but you know, I live in Chicago, so it's not like I don't have access to really good food. That was really good food. Get the Greek style potatoes, two orders. That's my tip to you. And probably the uh, steak kebabs, the flake kebabs. Fantastic. But uh, yeah, that downtown area is super cool. They have bars, they got live music, they've got really good meals. It's a good time. All right, we are at the signature hole of the North Course. This is hole number eight, about an 80 foot drop of elevation from Tita Green. Kind of, the lake juts out a little bit on you, but uh, it's a pretty sweet hole. Looks great. Yeah, the course itself, turns out it's, it's kind of tight, but it plays fair as long as you, uh, you hit your shots and do what you're supposed to do and do what you want to do for the most part. It gives you some uh, forgiveness if you're spraying. God knows I'm familiar with that, so uh, yeah, it's fun so far. Some great views too out here. So nice, nice and quiet, good walk. The nice thing about the north course is that uh, you are able to walk on the uh, general. They kind of frown upon it, they don't really let you just because it would take about eight hours to get through the thing, but yeah, it's a nice walk so far. Let's keep playing. All right, we have made the turn. This is the uh, big par five 11. Pretty fun hole, you see up from an elevated tee and come down here, so it's pretty fun. Um, I'm currently a bit on the struggle bus, so let's not talk about golf. Let's talk about Galena a little bit. Again, because I loved it. I thought it was great. The downtown area is great. It's only a population of like 3,400 people, but Chicagoans, once the summer starts, this is a lot of us come here. Um, you know, it's probably what the girls drove to Dubuque, Iowa this morning to do yoga. So that's pretty cool. It's right there. We drove to Wisconsin yesterday to get some beer. Yeah, so this small town, it's filled with a ton of history. 
ton of great architecture if you're into that kind of thing. Um, it, you know, this town is basically, the, uh, they have adopted Ulysses S. Grant as their own. Um, he lived here before he went off to the Civil War in 1861, came back 1865. He, Robert E. Lee surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant uh, and to end the Civil War and he came back here. Um, and then he went on to become president, but the town gifted him a house here. You can go see that and you can get the tour there, which is really cool. I mean, uh, what was it? I including uh, Ulysses S. Grant, nine generals came out of Galena, Illinois that fought in the Civil War. So um, lots of history here. And they've done a great job kind of, you know, turning this place into a destination and somewhere that you want to be and you want to go during the summer. You know, again, three hours for us from Chicago, but Wisconsin, Iowa, Indiana. There were some people from Indiana that we met. Um, it's a great little town, and again, something for everybody. If you want to just hang out and party, you can do that. Obviously, golf, there's a ton of golf. Everybody eating breakfast this morning was in polos. It reminded us of the PGA show, because um, everybody's out here playing golf. And um, you know, and then the girls, they're having a good time themselves. They've got their nails done. They have a massage later today. Um, they did yoga. So um, yeah, it's a great time. It's a great place to be. We love it. Gonna be back. All right, 18 on the north course. Uh, it's been a fun round. It's a it's a very fair and uh, um, gettable course, I think. Let you make some mistakes, but um, you know it's a resort course, so it's going to give you plenty of room for mistakes. It'll um, but it'll still entertain you. It's got lots of undulations. I mean, this whole area. Um, it's surprising uh, how kind of how much elevation you have and how much they built into the course. But uh, fun round. Um, I'm only two in match play. Riv got me again. I want to blend the sunglasses, but I won't. Um, but uh, it's going to take some use to getting... If you're used to wearing sunglasses, then these will probably work for you. But I just don't play with glasses a lot, so it's kind of tough. But nevertheless, this is it for us. We're going to leave Eagle Ridge. Unfortunately, after this 18th hole, we're going to go and meet up with the girls. They've gotten their massages for the day. And um, yeah, that's it. But fun trip. We were just talking about uh, doing something like this again next year to kick off the summer. And I think this would be uh, locale number one because there's, they've got it all. It's, a, it's everything. It's great. So um, that's it. Thanks for following along. I'm going to hit this ball. It's 385. It's a 385 yard par four. So it's driver off the tee. And uh, let's see how it goes. McCoon reviews it. This is Eagle Ridge Resort in Galena, Illinois. It's a great time. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys.